Hey y'all, once again, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and welcome to any new viewers. I also want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, because I want to thank y'all for tuning in, and just to let y'all know, I will be going more into it later on a little short, but as a thank you to all my viewers and subscribers, I have a box, a gift box, that I want to give to a commenter on one lucky video so I will go into more detail on that later but I just want to let y'all know ahead of time so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and what we're gonna be doing is a Father's Day gift and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start telling you what's needed I'm sorry my brain just died but if you follow me on social media which the links are down below you'll have seen this list and you can also get this list on the community tab so let's get to it so the first thing you're gonna need is these wooden squares I got them from Dollar Tree is like six in a pack so that's the first thing you're gonna need and then you're going to need sorry some floral wire I got this from I believe it was from Michaels I'm sure you can find something like this at Hobby Lobby Walmart whatever I'm not sure but I believe I got this from Michaels I use it on a lot of my pro I've used it on quite a bit of my well a couple of my projects I'm sorry I can't even think but you're gonna need a piece of that you're gonna need a little spool so that is something you need I got this from a kit that I had lying around you'll need a paintbrush some miter shears or something to cut the spool with hopefully this works and then you're gonna need your choice of paint I am using moss by Waverly so that's the color I picked and you also gonna need some glue so let's get right to it all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to paint the plaque and I chose moss because I didn't want to do the same old colors like blue and black and you know just that and I, and I thought it would be a good color for this figured it was plenty manly enough you know I gotta admit I kind of like this color so we're gonna go ahead and paint the plaque you probably okay again I'm gonna tell y'all same thing I tell y'all all the time it probably wouldn't hurt to uh, What's it called? Um, sand the plaque, and I forget about it every single time. Do not ask me why. So, but if you want to, you can sand it. But I just don't know why it leaves my brain, and I don't do it. Now I'm going to paint the whole entire thing, back, front, sides. Just because I think it looks better that way. This is a soft wood and I don't think I have the right um, sandpaper to paint it though but you know it doesn't hurt I mean paint it to sand it did I say paint I'm pretty sure I said paint uh, I don't know y'all then I'll find out no I said sand um, but like I said I'm not too worried if I get caught on the back because I plan on painting the back so it's not a huge deal. So, as soon as the front dries, I'm gonna move to the back. Didn't mean to do that. These paint brushes, a lot of them are loose like that. They come apart, but I don't care because still use it so I'm not gonna get rid of something just because it came apart
Oops. Alright, so as soon as it dries, I'm going to move on to the back. Alright, while we're waiting on that, we're going to attempt to cut this little spool in half. So I'm just taking my miter shears. I'm going to try to cut through it. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try. Don't want to break them. <laughs> Give me a second. So I'm having technical difficulty with this spool, and that's fine. A cork will work just as well. It'll look different, but it's fine. So you'll just take a cork and you'll cut. One of the ends off. The smaller end. Maybe. I'm having problems with cork now too. <laughs> Alright. So. That works what I want to do. And it's fine. It's not exactly what I was going for. But that doesn't matter. So. Now. The next thing you're gonna do, I forgot to tell you you're gonna need wire cutters. I'm so sorry, y'all. Is you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna try to bend it some. You don't want it too big because you're gonna want it on here. So, in case you're not using the same size I'm using, you just wanna give it a bend so that it's. fits on excuse me the like it'll fit on it like it's a, a um, fishing pole and then you're going to cut the end that you've bent sorry I'm having problems here and there's your fishing pole see how that works and then this is supposed to be the um, <sighs> my brain stopped my brain stopped working I forgot what it was called real real the real so that's how you're gonna do that and you're just gonna glue it on there now I did not tell you this but I wanted to let you know if you wanted to if you have a pen that would work like I have a white one Actually, you know what? Let's, let's see. I have a Sharpie. You can take your Sharpie. Let's see if it'll work on there. And you can write Happy Father's Day. You do not have to write anything on here, by the way. But you can do that right where you're not going to have anything. Just to make it a little extra. You do not have to do that. That was just a little something I want to show you if you wanted to do it. This was not going to have that, but it's fine if it does. And I want to leave the a little bit of the top of the metal coming up on it. So, and I forgot to tell you too, I'm sorry. My brain just does not want to function right all the time. As I told y'all, you're also going to need some string so that you can hang it. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of this. Um, I forgot what it's called. My brain is just not functioning here. But this little twill rope, I think it's called. I'm going to use some of that for the hanging of, for the... Y'all, my brain just... The hanger. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue it all together and see what we get. I'm 
technically that, that wasn't very... dry and then I'll get my little spider webs off of it all right so that is literally all you have to do for the sign and like I said I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna use it to hang it so I'm gonna flip it over Probably gonna cut some more off because I think I made it way too long. You don't need much of this. I put a little extra just to make sure I can glue it down on there good. You just want to make sure it's got a good hold this is a simple easy project that you can make for your father or anybody really I made this a little too long but it's fine it doesn't have to be perfect they're not going to cry if you didn't get it 100% perfect. But a really easy, simple Father's Day gift that you're, especially if they like fishing, your father will absolutely love. So there it is. Add a little bit more here. Just help hold it down some. Alright y'all, so my mom gave me an idea and I'm going to try it and see if it works. So she said to take the, well she didn't say it, but use this floral wire and just try to make a little tiny hook. You know, nothing big. It just helped to give it more of a, it's a fishing pole. And then you're going to take and you're going to cut about how high you want it up. I don't want to make it too big because it is technically just a small piece. Now, I wrote on there Happy Father's Day, so I'm not going to make the... Uh, this is just extras, by the way, so you don't have to do this. But actually, I might do it and I might do it with something... Give me a second. All right, you don't have to do this, but you can also take some fishing line, wire, line, anything, fishing line or anything that you have. And you could just, Like I said, this is just to make it feel more realistic. You don't have to do this. So, and it's just to add you a little thing on there. So, let me show y'all what it looks like once it gets done. All right. So, there it is with the hook and the wire. The, not wire, the fishing line. So, to me, that definitely looks like a fishing pole. So, and we've made it small enough that if the father, if your father does not want to keep it up all year round, it's small enough to store somewhere for easy well, for easy storage. So, that's it for today's project. I absolutely love how it came out. Of course, like I said before, 
you could pick whatever colors you like you do not have to pick these colors you don't even have to do the pole and real like that you can use whatever material you have you could draw the pole on there you could draw a little line on there you could draw a hook on there whatever you think would work but this is what we went with and I know you don't even have to do this this was just extra but if you have it and you want to add it to it I just want to show you what you could do to do different things it's fine do it the way we originally was going to do it the just the pole the reel this colored with that no words no line no hook but just ways to embellish it if you want to so I had fun making this I really really enjoyed it I hope you like it too if you do please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and I will see you all next time bye